is this marillier well if you guess not then you are right this is a headband wig why am i wearing a headband wig well if you have watched my previous video you would have learned that i am taking a relaxer break and to do that i am using a headband wig to help me on this new hair journey so if you want to see how i got my hair looking like this then stay tuned so this is how my hair is looking before i put on my headband wig my hair is not freshly washed this is about three days since i've done my wash day and this is how it's looking so all i'm going to do i'm going to brush my hair towards the back where i put on my headband wig so let's do that once i get everything going towards the back now is a time when i'm going to gather my hair like so and no we're not doing a ponytail so you're going to get a nice little bobby pin and i'm going to make a pin curl at the back So this is the wig and this is how it's looking so it has a comb right here it has another comb here and two combs at the side these are the bands that it comes with and of course it comes with um velcro on it the straps were a little bit too long for me so i did go ahead and stitch it up a bit with my needle and thread of course and so this is how it's looking the curls are looking nice and juicy and of course i will be sharing a video to show you how i get my curls nice and juicy because this is not how the hair really came so as you can see the curls are looking nice and juicy so i'll definitely share that with you in uh, another video as to how i got it and how i cut the hair modify it to suit my liking before i put on the wig i use this soft brush just to brush all the hair towards the back and show that it's nice and smooth like so okay and then get the wig right here and then i stick it just about there hopefully you can see then i go ahead and put the one at the back underneath that little bun that i made and then take this back pin right here and we're going to tuck it over this like that and it should be looking something like that said as i said earlier i won't be using the pins at the sides Make sure that all the hair is tucked under like that. Here under. Hold this side. Do the same thing to this side. Make sure that my hair is fully covered like that. Now, of course, you can put on a stocking cap if you would like. However, the time is hot and sometimes the stocking caps are very tight. So I can't manage that. It's the reason why I'm not using that. But if you want to, you can use that. So we're going to get the straps like that. And lock it. 
just like that and we are almost done at the back i'm gonna use this to put over the band right here you can see the excess band i'm gonna put that over it like that so that it's not sticking up next i go in with a white tooth comb just to fluff the hair a bit to give it a little bit more body like that don't want to comb it too much because we don't want to lose that definition like that And there you have it. This is not my real hair, but this is my hair. <laughs> Sometimes I fold the band so that more of my hair is showing like that. So you can see more of my hair like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so this is how I would wear my hair most of the time throughout the week. Of course, I have other styles that I do with this headband wig. So I'll share that in another video so you can see other ways you can style this headband wig. But most of the time, this is how I have my hair. Then at, in the evenings when I get home, I'll just take out the bobby pin that is at the back, pull the band, take out the first clip that I put in like that, and then take out the one at the back. And this is how my hair would be looking underneath the wig like that. This is how the back is looking. Then I would get my brush and just brush my hair nice and smooth like that. Remember that we don't want to be combing our hair, so just like that. And then I get my tie head. This tie head is so old. <laughs> Need to get some new one and tie it like that. So in that way, I would not be combing my hair at all. And then in the morning, I would take this off like that and just put on my headband wig and I'm out the door. If I were to take out the pins at the back, this is how my hair is looking. But tell me if it's not worth it to protect my hair with this headband wig. And I've been doing this for six months. So let's see the result at the end of six months and I'll be giving an update every two months. And if you want to join on this hair care journey, you can go ahead and watch the other videos so you can learn what to do to keep your hair in good stead. You can let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think that this is a good decision to take a relaxer break and to use the headband wig to protect my hair throughout the day? And what you think about how my hair is looking? Do you think that it is worth it? Let me know in the comment section and also let me know if this is the first time you're watching this series of videos. Let me know if you are going to join in on this hair care journey. Of course, this hair care journey will end in September because it's only for six months from April to September. So if you want to join in, go ahead and join in. And as I mentioned in the other videos that I've shared, if enough people join in, then I'll be sharing daily updates or at least weekly updates as to how my hair is keeping up so you can see what result you can have if you were to join in this hair care journey this video is a part of a series of videos in my new hair care journey and so if you have missed those other episodes then i'll leave them right here for you to watch next and i'll see you in my next video bye